Next Time You See a Pill Bug by Emily Morgan. Next time you see a pill bug, gently pick it up and hold it in your hand. Does it roll up into a ball? If so, be still and wait a few seconds for it to unroll. Then let it crawl around. Look closely. What shape is it? What color is it? Can you count its legs? Does it have eyes, a mouth, a nose, or ears? What words can you use to describe it? And how does your hand feel as the pill bug moves around? Some people call these animals roly polies because they roll up into balls when they are touched. Others call them pill bugs because their bodies are shaped like pills. But these creatures are not really bugs at all. It's true. They're not even an insect. A good way to find out if an animal is an insect is to count its legs. Adult insects have six legs, but pill bugs, they have 14 legs. They are not insects. Wait, what are they? Hmm. Well, they're crustaceans. When most people hear the word crustacean, they think of crabs, lobsters, and shrimp. It's true that most crustaceans live in or near the ocean, but pill bugs are unusual crustaceans. They live their entire lives on land. Like all crustaceans, pill bugs hatch from eggs. A female pill bug carries her eggs underneath her body. After the eggs hatch, she carries her tiny babies in a pouch for a few days or weeks. Baby pill bugs look a lot like their parents, but they are much smaller and lighter in color. Crustaceans have exoskeletons, or hard outer coverings. A pill bug's exoskeleton is thick on the top of its body and thinner on its underside, where the legs are attached. One of the most interesting things about a pill bug is how it uses its exoskeleton to defend itself. When a pill bug is threatened, it rolls up into a ball. This way, the exoskeleton protects the inner, softer part of its body. When you look closely at a pill bug, you notice that its exoskeleton is segmented or divided into sections. All crustaceans are segmented. Another thing crustaceans have in common is that their exoskeletons do not grow as the rest of their bodies grow. So pill bugs must grow a new exoskeleton and they shed the old one. This is called molting. They do this in two parts. First, they shed the back half and a few days later, they shed the front half. If you see a pill bug that looks brownish red on half its body, it's probably molting. Now most crustaceans, such as crabs, lobsters, and crayfish, have claws or pinchers on some of their feet. However, pill bugs are different. All of their feet look the same. Because of this difference, scientists call pill bugs isopods, which means same feet. 
compare the pill bug to the other crustaceans. What similarities and differences do you notice? There's another kind of isopod that looks very similar to a pill bug. It's called a sow bug. To tell the difference between these two isopods, look closely at the shapes of their bodies. A sow bug, a sow bug's body, it's flatter on the edges, more flat than the pill bug's body, and it has two points sticking out the last segment. Also, a sow bug is not able to roll itself into a tight ball like a pill bug. Their structures are very similar. Pill bugs can live in many different places, as long as they can find rotting plants or sometimes the shoots of new plants to eat. They also need moisture and seem to prefer dark places. If you are searching for pill bugs, a good place to check is under a log or stone. Have you ever wondered how pill bugs breathe under there? Like most crustaceans, pill bugs breathe through gills. That's right, their gills must be moist for them to breathe. That's why the damp environment under rocks and logs is great, such a great place for pill bugs to live. Unlike most other crustaceans, pill bugs cannot survive underwater for a long period of time. So a place that is damp, but not too wet, is the perfect place for a pill bug to live. Pill bugs are fun to watch and they don't bite. If you want to collect some pill bugs to observe, place them gently in a container. If you are going to keep them for more than a few minutes, add a damp paper towel so they don't dry out. And after you observe them, be sure to put them back where you have found them. So the next time you see a pill bug, remember that it is not a bug or an insect. It's a crustacean. This familiar animal that lives under the rocks and logs in your yard is most closely related to the shrimp, crabs, and lobsters that live in the sea. Isn't that remarkable? Isopods are amazing.